Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be playing Ellis's um, Lost Chapter Rush Rune Technology. Um, before we even get into this, um, I'll explain what it is and I'll also say what I think my hypothesis regarding this is. Um, so basically, oh, please use your flash or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh well. Um, so basically, you're going to start Sapphire, um, and usually you, you do it on like mages such as like Oriana, Syndra, whatever, right? Um, and obviously Ryze can do it, try it as well, but I don't think it'll be all that good. Um, so basically with this futures market, you're going to be able to base around level 4, level 5, and just straight up buy a lost chapter, and then you're just going to port back to lane. And supposedly, with the 40 AP and all the stats lost chapter gives, it should give you some lane pressure. Um, but I don't think it's worth uh, giving up domination. Uh, if you're running phase rush to go this um and i also don't think it's worth always tp'ing the same way every game um just because you want to go this um so yeah those are my thoughts on it right now um obviously we're going to test it out and see if it's actually good or bad um and as the video goes on we'll have a pretty good idea of uh what it's like and if you ever want to check how much gold just ping the item in the shop and you'll be able to tell um how far away you are from getting it so I am going to play lane relatively aggro here, um, and always just go for auto attacks and abuse this guy. This guy's actually looking for a trade, I'm not going to let him actually do that. So, because this guy's melee and you're ranged, make sure to abuse, um, make sure to abuse that he's a, a melee champion and use your auto attacks. Um, also I'm not sure if I said it, but the elo we're playing in is like low diamond, and we're also playing in smurf queue, so there could be a lot of smurfs. So, anywhere from Diamond to Master tier is the elo, but if you want to be safe about it, then I suppose we can say this is Diamond elo. This actually does nothing, man. Get the fuck out of my lane, dude. Like, what are you doing here, man? Seriously, I'm wasting so much time. Okay, so it doesn't end up being that bad because Yon lost a cannon, but... That really did nothing for him. Make sure it helps me a little. Okay, I got my mana flow. I'm backing up now. Okay. And, uh, I'll be close to my items soon. Basically, just rush it. As soon as you can. And that's the technology. And that's all we're fucking testing today. Everything else is just standard rise gameplay. Except the fact that I don't have domination. Cause, uh, scuff runes, man. Nice. Okay, well this derails everything because I just got a double kill. Um, yeah. Okay. So normally I would have this gold <laughs> around probably next wave or this wave actually. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna base and we're gonna gonna get our lost chapter. And uh, usually you just TP back on the map instantly as soon as you can. I'm actually not going to spend the gold because I do want to test this technology. So I'm actually just going to only get the lost chapter and TP, alright? Maybe I'll get a pink warden. Alright, so let's test how effective this lost chapter is. Usually I would go into debt in order to actually achieve this. Um, but I'm not in debt. Okay. I'm probably done here. Maybe not. Oh. That sucks. Alright, well, yeah, I mean, cool. I have lost chapter, but it didn't really do shit for me. <laughs> Alright, so now we'll just buy normally. Um, so, yeah. Didn't even get to use Futures Market, like, properly, because I got ahead. So yeah, I mean, especially actually in lower elos, you're gonna get random kills like this. Um, like solo kills and like random fights. So, like let's say I had domination right now, I would have two stacks of it already. Like that'd be so much better than having a lost, or not lost chapter, um, having a futures market that I didn't even properly use anyways. This does do a shit ton of damage though. Oh my god, dude. 
It's just a fiesta in here, man. What the hell? We play League of Legends. Diamond don't play around, man. I mean, the AP is nice too, but you're gonna delay your tier stacks by quite an amount, so... Yeah, not the biggest fan. Um, this probably benefits a lot other champions better, like Syndra Ziggs, but... Yeah. I am really not a fan of this, honestly. Um, I'd much rather just get, like, three boots, uh, and biscuits or something, if you are going, like, domination anyways. Um, and... I don't think this is a Ryze like technology, honestly. Like Ryze doesn't need the AP stats. He doesn't benefit off the AP stats nearly as much until late game, when his Q has a much higher ratio. Um, he does benefit off having mana though, so you don't really need Lost Chapter. You just need the Sapphire Crystal component, you know. So I'm doing a lot of damage, but that's just because like, this guy's just letting me hit him over and over. It's not because I have super AP or anything. So I'm gonna go for that. Okay, got the Scorch. Yeah, this guy's just... Yeah. They, uh, they just love camping mid. I don't know what else to say. If I can... Okay, that guy is taking a lot of chunk. Um, looks like Kale might play pretty aggro here. And this is good for me to collapse. She has no R. Perfect. Damn, she's dead. And she loses this huge wave. This is Kale's biggest mistake. He loses so much for TPing there. And yeah, he just gets absolutely destroyed. I'm actually going to use Features Mark and get a pink ward because I love me pink wards. Um, God, seven minutes in and Kane is already blue for him, dude. What the hell? <laughs> Level six blue Kane. Have you? <laughs> what? Diamond is a whole nother fucking. <laughs> it's something, man. Kind of a nightmare, but it is what it is. So yeah, these runes are not doing anything for me at all. Um, obviously, I did win a fight, um, but that fight I won. It didn't even have anything at all to do with my rune choices. Like, I just won the fight because I won the fight. Um, is this up? No, it's not up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this thing here. I'm probably gonna... Oh shit. Okay, so we can play for raptors first and then maybe we can go scuttle. But you can farm the enemy jungle. It's very good if you can. For absolutely free. Alright, we see... Mr. Talon over there. Okay. So you only landed this full combo there. Try to get the bounce off on him. Still trying for the bounce. Not really working out. But that's okay. We'll just go uh, collect the scuttle. I don't really have to fight him. Okay. I know I'm stronger than him, but I don't have to fight him. Because I can just get something else. You guys can see, I can just get some health stats here. Start. I'm going to hurt this scuttle towards mid. So I don't have to move all the way up there to get this thing. Then I'm going to finish off and get these fruits again. Now I'm going to go back mid. I'm collecting a lot of resources. I got 4 CS here, 4 CS here, and then I'm collecting um, most of the wave normally anyways. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm not having that much difficulty at all versus Yone. That's because I'm playing um, pretty smart around his EQ, like his E and his knockup Q. Um, earlier I didn't really play that smart around it because I let myself get hit because I just think, don't give a shit. Because he can't really kill me. Um, but yeah, in general I've been playing mostly smart around shit like that. I do have a move here if I so wished. Okay, so I can get my Everfrost pretty soon, so I think I'll go ahead and go for that. Everfrost and 24 gold. So yeah, right now we're pretty much utilizing Futures Market. Um, so it's basically given me 90 extra gold in the game. Make sure I TP and have enough Damn. Okay, so I got my Everfrost spike because of Futures Market. Okay, I'm gonna root him here. I'm gonna do this, root him again, and he's just dead. Very nice. Let's see what I can do here. Notice how I'm always 
every combo I go for in a duel, it's E W Q. Okay, not W E Q. Okay, sure. You W E Q does a little bit more damage, right? But what does E W Q do? It secures the Q and it stuns them in place, so your teammates can follow up. You can position yourself even better, so you can chase them down. But let's say you go for W E Q. What happens when you W E Q? Is okay. You're gonna W and then you're gonna E. And if you're um, what do you call it? This guy's not even tanking. But, um, if your Q misses, then you miss out on all the damage of Q. Um, I don't know what the heck is going on here, but okay. Okay, here I'm gonna look for. Uh... Oh, hello, Thresh. I'm just gonna leave, actually. Get me out of here. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get stopwatch this game. Um, I could get uh, needlessly large rod with futures market, but um, I don't want to use futures market too much because if you go into debt, so if you ever take this rune, okay. Disclaimer: This is not a bad rune. It's good in some situ situations. However, I don't think Rise is a fucking champion that actually should go this, okay? Like, this does nothing for him. Um, but you don't want to go into depth too much, because every time you go into depth, you're basically losing 50 gold. Right now I'm up 100 gold, because this gives me 200 gold, but I've lended it twice, meaning I'm down 100 gold. So 200 minus 100, that's 100. So I'm up 100 gold. But if you keep spamming Futures Market, and just like, using it over and over and go into depth every time, then you're gonna lose out on gold value. That's why people think this is a bad room, but it's not a bad room. They just don't know how to use it properly. Okay, nice. Looks like he's not really going for his Gromp, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this Gromp as well. As you guys can see, I'm not sustaining very well because I don't have Domination. Um, and Futures Market has barely done anything for me, honestly. I can actually make this fight. This actually looks pretty good. Nice, not bad, not bad. Okay, here I could go for Booba, but it's not worth it. Because look where my wave is. My wave is already at the enemy's tower. What does this mean? I can just free hit this tower, and this is much more worth than actually just getting Booba. Um, and as long as I have minions to help tank uh, the tower, I'm just gonna keep hitting the tower, because these guys are dead. Like, four of these guys are dead, no one's defending their tower. Uh, maybe I'll go for raptors after all my minions die or something like that. Okay, as you guys can see, this wave is here. And check out my CS, it's almost 10 per minute, I'm, but I'm doing a lot of roaming, and I'm moving on the map a lot. But it's still very high. Okay, I'm actually gonna back off, because I would love this camp, but I know Talon just respawned about 8 seconds ago, and Talon, being as mobile as he is, is gonna meet me if I try to take his raptors. So, I'm just gonna base here. Um... Okay, so I am versus 380 um, champion, so I think I'll probably go... Yeah, I'm not going to TP there, because it seems absolutely useless for me to TP there. I am skipping Dark Seal this game. Um, just because I, I don't actually feel like getting it. Um, but yes, it would actually be a good item if I did go it. Also, if you are taking this Futures Market rune choice, right? And you're trying to get the Lost Chapter at 4 minutes, right? Secret technology, you know, LS. You know, then um, you're probably not going to go Dark Seal. But normally, you'd buy like Sapphire Crystal, Dark Seal, and Boots when you first buy and TP back on Rise. So that's normally what would happen. So that's why I don't have Dark Seal. So I can really fit it in early game. And you can also buy it late game. Like, it's never bad to buy because it's literally free AP. But, um,. But yeah, just a little bit awkward to buy it now. I'm gonna do these camps. Um, let's see what I can do here. 
mean, it looks like the play is already over for the most part. Oh, there's a Thresh. Hello, little guy. Oh, shit. I, mean, I don't care if you hook me, I'll just kill you. Oh my god. He's slow. That's crazy. Kale's rush. That's actually crazy. Oh, this wave is here, so I'm not gonna base. I'm just gonna block this wave and then I'll base. Okay. Well, I can't really buy anything actually significant, so I'm probably just gonna get Arc Steel here. Okay, not bad. Did he need help? Maybe he does. Alright. Got my Dark Seal, I keep it on the map, but there's nothing for me to do. I'm just gonna go take this drop, and then I'm gonna go get the mid wave. Notice how I'm always anticipating when the wave will crash. This is what's called wave crashing, it's crashing right now, right? So, I'm always thinking about the time I have until the wave crashes. So, I had enough time to do Gromp, which gives me 100 extra gold, some extra EXP, and uh, some health and mana back. So, I'm always thinking about it like that, you know? I missed three melee minions, but it's worth it. Because I got enemy Grom, and every time you take a jungle camp away from the enemy, okay, th it's not just 100 gold to you, it's 100 gold you deny from them, so it is 200 gold net swing, if that makes sense. Net swing, meaning um, like the, the gold gap is going to be 200 total because you took that thing. Oh my god, like, where's my teammates, man? I kind of do like my short TP timers, but I don't think it's worth going inspiration for. Okay, here I'm actually going to catch top, even though I'm super low. Why? Because I know that basically no one is going to be top except maybe Talon or Kale, um, and I can just ult out. Um, who knows, maybe I end up inting for it, but uh, okay, we see Kale, so only Talon maybe could be around. I'm just going to ult here because I want blue buff. And hopefully have some mana. Okay, not bad. Alright, now I'm gonna... Oh, hey, nice guy, thank you. Let me take it, I'll take it. Oh shit, this is so bad, but I really want my item, but I can't afford it. Yeah, I can't really afford shit, actually. I'm pretty poor. Damn, dude, I just got cheesed. So hard. It's crazy. Oh, dirty cheeser, dude. <laughs> yeah, this Dark Seal has done nothing for me, actually. I kind of regret buying it. Wow, he lived. It's not a good fight because it's a 2v3, so I'm going to use my pings. I really like to use my pings whenever I play solo queue because that will alert my teammates. If I know a play is bad and I communicate to them that the play is bad, they're, most likely they're not going to go for the play. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and head to bot lane. Holy shit. That's a lot of damage. Alright, I mean, there's not going to be a play, because, uh, I guess I could stay and, like, make it there, but, like, two people are dead on the enemy team, so they have numbers advantage no matter what, so I'm just going to base, get my Archangels, and now I am really strong. It's KLTP. Baron. Okay, so whenever you kill the enemy jungler, um, and anyone is bot lane, like Kale is literally bot lane right now, um, you can basically take Baron for free. So identifying when Baron is free is extremely OP and learning how to climb. So 
Gotta look for windows like that, guys. It's actually super OP. Because now we can just siege, um, and we can just break down all the defenses, and it's pretty easy to win. Drake doesn't matter, man. Who gives a shit about Drake? They need two more of those. Will the game go on for 10, minute, 10 more minutes? No. Therefore, that Drake they just caught does not matter at all. It does not matter. It truly doesn't. People overvalue Drakes too much when it simply does not matter. All that matters is winning team fights in Soul Gear. And if you got a sack of Drake to do that, then so be it. I don't have R. Okay, not bad. This tower. I suppose I could base. Oh, Kale is up really far. Mm, I mean, they should have seen that. My, For some reason, my bot laners are fucking jerking off all the way at Krugs, so I can't actually opt into this fight because it will turn into a 1v2, although we have more people bot side. Because my bot laners, they don't understand what their job is. They just kind of just in there. Okay, nice. So Morgana died, and I would have died if I did, uh, if I just ran into them. So Morgana basically died um, the way I would if I didn't respect. Pretty sure I can just kill this guy. Actually, knowing that Thresh has me kills, it might be a little bit difficult. So it's pretty hard to like flash on him or anything. So I can EQ here and get some move speed for myself. Looks like there's a fight going on over there. Oh shit. I really grief my positioning. Alright, this seems a little rough guys. Let's just back off. Okay, but I s uh, I mean I guess we can try, but I'm super low. So I'm doing this while being aware that I'm low. So my tools are Zanyas and Everfrost coming up in two seconds. I'm gonna just Zanyas here. All right, and I'm gonna get the fuck on out of here because I'm too low to stay. So they should also leave because they're also low. And before I base, I'm gonna go ahead and take. Oh, oh, well then, well then, I'm very disappointed. That's sad. The hell? My day's ruined. Make sure you get the Baron Recall off while you can. As you guys can see, like, if I had Domination this late in the game, I would have been full health while we're sieging, and maybe you could have extended the play a bit more. But because I went Inspiration for a rune choice that is probably really shit on Rise, like, at this point, I'm only up 60 gold off of Futures Market, because you keep using it over and over. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of Futures Market, on Rise especially. Maybe some other mages are better, but um, I mean, personally, I don't think the technology is even good at all, so I'm not going to do it. I think LS is overhyping the fuck out of it, and I think people are like riding into the hype because, wow, LS, big figure, right? So, yeah, I mean, that's what I think anyways, guys. Wow, that's kinda that's kinda buggy. Hmm, I don't wanna hit this tower. I could try to help him. Well, we got the tower. So my primary focus is the tower, not like actually fighting. Because the more you extend into the enemies, the easier it is for you to throw. So think about stuff like that. Like what you actually want out of um, out of a siege or something, you know? Oh, well, they're all like occupied with my teammates. 
I can just hit this tower for free and probably get the end of for free. Oh my god, that was close. Alright, hopefully this is far enough. That one could maybe hunt for me, but I think it was over here. Remember what I said, guys. This Drake does not matter, guys. The game's gonna be over in like five minutes. We have triple in it. Oh, actually, we only have double in it, but yeah. 900 AP. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I've used it five times. So this rune is only giving me 20 gold at this point in time. So if you're an early game spiker, sure, maybe getting this rune might be okay. Let's say you really need the AP early, like, I don't know, Syndra or something, and you really want to snowball with that Future's Market gold. Um, but Rise, it's not good on Rise, guys. I guarantee you that. Because Rise is not really an early game champion. And I'm super strong, got a lot of AP. They could probably be on that, but let's go fucking kill them all, you know? I'm just trying to catch up to him. I'm just gonna have to Zonius here. There's a Talon coming my way soon. That kinda sucks. Probably one shot this thing. Otherwise, they're gonna go for it. We can base now. I'm another stopwatch. Oh, yes. Okay, this is very OP. I love this. So now I have two stopwatches. Should be pretty hard to kill me. Um, I'm just gonna run back to mid lane. Then we just group five and we should be able to win the game. Be pretty easy. Kale's kinda strong now, but it's kinda whatever. Hopefully you don't lose, that'll be very sad. I don't know why this guy took a base just now. They fought whole break and has no clue how it works, man. Oh my god. Doesn't matter, just group, man. Man, imagine if I had domination, I could actually heal back all this poke. But because I have inspiration, if I get poked, it, it just sticks. I can get this bot wave shoving out. I'll probably pressure even harder. Okay, with this wave we can probably get this inhib. Just end the game here, man. Where is this guy, man? Can't Zanias or anything. Sucks. I mean, we have triple in him now, so hopefully we can end um, with the next shot. But my team is really like bad at closing out. They don't really know what they're doing. So yeah, hopefully we can secure the win soon. Um, and obviously I'm challenger, um, like in diamond. Um, but like. This is so common in solo queue where people are just fucking, they, they don't know how to close out a game. And it's because like we're just splitting and we're just dying randomly, like Morgana and Illawi are just randomly dying. Um, yeah, so just try to secure the win as, as fast as you can, hopefully. I mean, in a respawn now, we don't even have double, double, uh, 
double super minion spawning anymore. It kind of sucks. So yeah, especially versus Kale, who's like kind of OP like him. So I can't really soft watch the last fight. I was CC. So only solution there is like don't get hit by hook forehead. Game is not that hard, man. I also didn't get black shielded like over here, so kind of sucks. Just ability haste I'm missing out on, it's whatever. Um, but the streak does not really matter. Can we do something about that? Kyono R. I don't know. Let's. Like, why are we on Drake? It's so useless. Uh, this game sucks. Maybe it's just a backdoor angle, guys. I have no clue. There's too many throws, man. Way too many throws. Might be backdoor angle, guys. Oh, Kale spacing. He knows. Yep. Game really sucks. I'm just gonna split, cause um, I don't think we win fights. Never bad as fuck kill. So I'm just gonna go split push. I'm gonna take this red, cause I don't have domination, cause I took the stupid rune page. And yeah, I'm just gonna go split push, guys. Hope for the best. Those teammates are heavy. And they should not be able to stop me. I'm split pushing. So I can just do that. Alright, maybe. Okay. Because they did that and sent their jungler bot, literally, let's just take free Baron and. Hopefully, let's end with supers and Baron. But I don't have much faith in my teammates. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Diamond players are very disappointing to play with. And this is my like fifth potion. On just wanna end the game, dude. We're getting collapsed on eventually. Man, fights are just so hard to win. Gonna open up the back door option. Okay, now Nexus is exposed. Maybe this is a little bit easier. Um, but I'm truly not enjoying how this game is playing out. Uh, Kale is just too OP, I guess. Let's see how much my future is. We're gonna have to back door to win this game. It's so sad, dude. Alright, uh, I don't have any wards to backdoor to. I'm gonna swap to this trinket so I can set myself up a ward perhaps. 
Yeah, uh, I might go for Banshee's Veil here. Unfortunately, I never got to use my stopwatch. My extra stopwatch. So yeah, let's go Banshee's, because uh, spells are kind of annoying. I mean, I could also go something else. Oh. I mean, we're not going to actually... X. No! Oh my god. I mean, now, now it kind of sucks, because I'm pretty sure they saw us TP. Man, that sucks. No more here. We see them on midway, we can just go in. If they're not showing, we just sit here, literally. Okay, not bad, we just group now. I'm just fucking. I'm gonna go in. Win the game, guys! End the fucking game! Fast! <laughs> what a. I mean, it was really annoying that we had to get to that point when we had like a 15k gold lead, but <laughs> that's one way to end the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really don't like this rune page at all. Um, it's pretty annoying. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. So, yeah, um, I definitely recommend Domination over the stupid rune page that doesn't even do much for you, um, especially when you're playing in lower elos like Diamond and Below, where it's just a lot of RNG fighting and you're probably going to get a gold lead anyways, or like the gold won't even matter, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching today and I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. I hope you learned something. Bye bye.